Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Sumaira Salim. You're watching this TV USA. Let's have a look at the Kashmir news. An innocent youth was arrested in Srinagar by the Indian police in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The police arrested the youth who has been identified as Farzan Feroz from a checkpoint in the city. The police have declared him as a member of Mujahideen organization to justify the arrest of the youth. Sardar Hatik Ahmed Khan, the newly elected president of all Jammu and Kashmir Muslim Conference, Azad Kashmir, has said that the Muslim Conference will continue to negotiate on the Kashmir issue and will strongly resist any move against the wishes of the Kashmiri people. Sardar Atik Ahmed Khan expressed these views on the occasion of his visit to the office of the All Party Huriyat Conference, Azad Kashmir branch in Islamabad and the newly elected leadership of the Hurriyat Conference Azad Kashmir branch including Convener Mahmood Ahmed Sagar, General Secretary Sheikh Abdul Mateen and the Information Secretary Imtiaz Wani. Congratulations, he said that the freedom movement based on the right of Kashmiris has entered a critical and divisive stage. He said that the leadership of the All Jammu and Kashmir Muslim Conference is taking keen interest in the solution of Kashmir issues and assured the leadership of the All Party Hurriyat Conference, Azad Kashmir branch of the party's fully support. He said that the All Party Hurriyat Conference represented the collective statement, struggle, suffering and sacrifice of the oppressed people of Jammu and Kashmir and has one important place among the Kashmiri people. Mehbooma Mufti, head of the People's Democratic Party in India and Okupai, Jammu and Kashmir, has urged the leadership of the Ladakh region in the joint forces with the people of Jammu and Kashmir for collective struggle to protect their unique identity and the interests. Mehbooma Mufti was reacting to the news that the Ladakh leaders have met the High Power Committee formed by the Indian Minister of Home Affairs to meet their demand for the resuscitation of the statehood of Akupal, Jammu and Kashmir and the granting of statehood and Ladakh. He refused to attend the meeting. He said that the Ladakhi brothers and the sister are requested to stand with us in our collective structure to protect in a unique identity and interest. He said that the, since the last three years, avocation propaganda is being done to create a rapid between Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. An Indian Army vehicle deliberately remanded a car in the Kupwara district of North Kashmir in the illegally occupied Indian Jammu and Kashmir, resulting in the death of two civilians and one injured. An Army vehicle deliberating hit a car in a rain area of the district, as a result of which two civilians were killed on the spot and one injured. The injured person has taken to the nearby hospital from where he was sent to Srinagar for special treatment transfer to hospital. That's all for now. Keep watching DCTV USA or log into our website, dctvusa.com.